Okay, so are you ready to start selling online? In this Squarespace e-commerce tutorial video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know to start selling online. With Squarespace, you can sell anything from physical products, digital products, services, subscriptions, gift cards, all that you can do within the Squarespace platform, and it's really easy to set up. Uh, a couple of things before we get started though. And so if you're just getting started with Squarespace, we do have a beginner tutorial video that we just put up. I'll link to that up above right here. That video goes over more of the basics of setting up your homepage, blog, contact form, some of the design basics that we're not gonna cover in this video. This is gonna be more focused on the actual store piece of it. So that's another option available to you if you want more help. Also, we do have a free Squarespace course that I'll link to down below in the description. Our channel is partly supported by affiliate commissions, and so I'm gonna put a link down below in the description to Squarespace. If you use our link and decide to purchase Squarespace, we will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Also, if you use our discount code, the FIGCO, you'll receive 10% off your first purchase. These commissions help support our channel and allow us to do more tutorial videos like this one on YouTube. With all that said, why don't we hop on the computer and get started building our online store. All right, so here we are at squarespace.com. One of the things I wanted to show you before we got started was the different options for pricing. And so if we go to their pricing tab, you'll see that they have four different options. So with the personal plan that starts at $12 a month, this is the annual pricing. You'll see that it's quite a bit cheaper on a monthly basis than just paying per month but basically to show you with the different plans. So here, if we scroll down to commerce, so if you do want to sell online, the personal plan you can't, the business plan you can, but you're going to be charged an extra 3% on top of the, the finance charge from you know the, the payment processor you're using. And so you can save that 3% with one of their commerce plans. Normally the gift cards aren't included with the business or normal commerce plan, but it looks like they're including it during um, everything going on with COVID. Um, and you can see some of the other differences. If you want to use point of sale, that's with the commerce plan. And there's a whole bunch of more advanced features with the advanced commerce plan right here. With that said, so normally when you're on Squarespace, you can either go to the templates to get started or click on get started. And then you'll see they have, here are some of their more popular themes. Um, you know, they have things, they have templates specifically for stores. The great thing with the update with Squarespace is you can basically create anything you want with any of the different templates. And so it's not so important which of the templates you choose, but just picking one where you like the initial design and then you'll be able to add basically anything you want to that afterwards. Why don't we start today with the Crosby design? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is pick the name of the store. So this is a plant related one. So Jeff's Plants. Okay. And then there's a handful of other tutorial steps that we're just gonna skip for right now. Okay, so once you're on this page, so there's a, there's a couple of things along the left side here if you're not familiar with. So pages is where you're gonna add and edit pages. Uh, design is where you can edit the specifics of the design, fonts, colors, spacing, things like that. Commerce we'll get into a little bit later. The analytics and settings as well. Um, those are things we covered in the basic Squarespace tutorial video. So check that out if if you want help with those sections, but mainly we're gonna focus on the actual store piece of this today. And so to do that, click on pages. Okay, and so what you'll see here, so within the main navigation is these couple of different sections, which is the same thing you see right here. And so if some of these you're like, hey, I don't actually want these, you can go in and just delete it, and then it'll get rid of those pages. You know, if you wanna change the order at all, you can just drag it around like so. And then you'll notice that the home page is down here that's not linked. The thing is the, the, the logo along the side here is the button that actually takes you to the home page anywhere. So you don't want to have this up here as well because then it would just basically be twice. One of the things I would do is just open up each of these pages that say demo on it because if you want to link to these pages then anything, you can't do that if it still says demo. So if you're, you know, let's say on the home page and your template doesn't have a shop already, you can just click the button here for new pages and then scroll down to store. Uh, this template already has one and so let's just hop into shop that it has right now. And so here are basically all the items that are currently within the, the store. And so obviously if you don't have a plant business, you probably just want to go through, double click on each one and delete all of the all of the items that are already in the store. 
So I'm not, I don't need to go through and do all that right now. And then I'll, the other thing too, so you can see the top item you have here is the first one within the store and you can easily kind of drag and reorder these. Um, and so you'll see now the lily that was first is now down here. And so you can move and reorder the products as you want. Okay, so let's create a new item for the store. So click on the plus symbol. And then so here you can add whatever you want. So physical, digital products, services, gift cards. I'm gonna show you how to make a digital product in a little bit, but let's start out with a physical product. And so the first thing is give it a name. Uh, so I recently bought a cast iron plant, and so I have a couple pictures of that that I'm gonna add to this product. I clicked on the pricing, so now it wants to know what's the original price, so let's say $50. Is it on sale right now? Maybe. So let's say it's on sale for 40. So you can do that right in the, right in the platform here. And then also if there are other options, so like, you know, if you think of t-shirts that are small, medium, large, extra large, you basically would go through and add those here. Also, you know, don't forget about the stock. So for physical products, you probably have a specific number in stock right now for a digital product that you could sell unlimited of, you would just click here. Okay, so there's 20 in stock. Additional info, so here you can add just about anything you want by clicking here. So you could add other images, videos, audio, buttons, you know, there's a whole bunch of things you can go through and add to any of the, the product pages. You know, I can leave that not blank for now. Also, if there's any, additional information you need from your client, you can basically create a form, add a form field, and then they give you all these different options of, you know, if you want to say, hey, choose option A, B, C, or D, or, you know, if there's, there's add-ons, you can add check boxes. There's all sorts of stuff that you can add to the form fields. Let's cancel that. But to go back to the very basic, let's update an image. Okay, so there we go. The cast iron plant now has an image. Um, now to continue on with the rest of it. So if we go on to options, there's really nothing here that we need to do. Thumbnail image, we can just continue to use the image that we had. SEO, you, you could add a lot more information for the title and description and everything here. And then social, one thing here, depending on the shape of the images you have, usually if you share an image on social, it's more of a landscape picture. So I have a, a picture for that as well. And so if you share it on social media, you would have a horizontal picture. And then within the store, we have the have more of a vertical picture. And then so you can save it as draft or. And then so the draft one you can see is down here is hidden. If we open it up again and then if I publish it. And then I could also say, hey, this is I want to highlight this and have it at the top of the store. So there you go, there's my cast iron plant. And then you can see if you have something on sale, it, it highlights it right here. You know, the other thing you can do, so within, here's the store page right now that has all of the products that you're selling. So we can go through and edit this page. And so we can say, check out our plants. If I wanna go through here, so I could either manage the items, which would take me back to the products, or I can edit this section. And so you can see here, do I want the full width or if it's inset, it's gonna shrink a little bit. There's the column spacing, row spacing. So the other thing, so the aspect ratio, so what size are all the images that you want in here? Depending on what type of product you're selling, you know, different aspect ratios might be better. And so for example, if we said square, it's gonna crop all the images kind of like this. Or we could even go to widescreen, which you know, you can see that these images weren't really taken for that aspect ratio, but you can go through and, and edit any of those as however sees fit for, for your business. And so you have the text alignment, so it's middle. Let's say if we wanted them all left aligned, you know, do we, wanna, do we wanna show the price on this page or we could get rid of it? Change the colors so we could go to light bold and you can see there that makes that that design change to you know the entire store and then you know the next thing so if we said done and save so this is that was basically designing the actual store 
Additionally, you can edit the design of the actual product. So this is what the product page is. So if I added a video, other text, um, there's also different ways to, you know, what's going to happen as you click on the pictures that you have saved. You could have multiple pictures that you could scroll through as a carousel. Um, you can set up Zoom and so you could go and edit the product or take a look at the different options to edit the design. So again, you have the width of inset or full. You know, again, change the aspect ratio of what, what size shape pictures do you want for the actual product specific page. So we could change that to square, standard vertical, etc. Text alignment again, product navigation, image spacing. Yeah, so design, so if there were multiple if I had five pictures here, you could have them stacked vertically, one on top of the other, have a slideshow, gallery placement on the left, or if I set on the right, it switch those around. I think I like it on the left. And then there you go, so hover action. So if I hover over, it's gonna zoom in or none. And then the you can change how much it's gonna zoom in and, so there's a, there's a ton of things you can do within the actual the product design page. And then again, so if I'm all set with this, I can click save. Okay, so that's basically, we created a physical product. And then let's go back to the store again. So back to shop. Um, the next thing I wanna show you is how you could create a digital product. So the same thing with your store, click on digital upload images and so let's say YouTube square so we have this YouTube guide for example we give it away for free but this is just an example of how you could sell a digital product so here's that YouTube guide price 25 bucks on say it no it's not on sale pay full price um, then you upload the actual full file Okay, again, you have the same kind of additional information you could add, forms, other options, SEO, you know, social. So again, if we have another image that's uh, landscape we wanna add here, and that's, you know, the YouTube guide at Jeff's Plants. Doesn't quite go together, but I think you kind of get the idea of, of how this would work. And then save and publish. One of the thing with the, the digital products is basically you make the purchase and they get a invoice and then the next thing that's going to happen is that they're going to get the, a link to the digital product. I think they have 24 hours to download that product so it's not something they can forward to 50 of their friends and you know a month later still have access to it. So one thing you want to let them know is hey make sure to download this within 24 hours or you know the link's going to no longer be valid. And so you can see um, within our, the items in our store, where did my, there we go. So you can see the, the YouTube guide is right here. Um, go to add to cart, et cetera. And you can see the, the cart up here just updated with one item in it now. So I mean, that's the basics of the, the product design. Now I want to take you through the commerce section that I pointed out earlier. So here in the commerce section, we don't need to go through the tutorial. I'll teach you about that as we go. Let's move myself over here and, and walk through each part of it. So the first thing, obviously, you need to connect the way to collect payments. So it's reminding you that along the top right here. Let's get rid of that for now. You know, you have a summary of here's all the orders that you that have been placed. Inventory. And so you can see for a digital product, it's infinite. For my cast iron plant, we have 20 of them and so forth. So that'll keep track of all the inventory. If you have different SKUs and sizing, all of it you can use to manage your inventory here. Uh, your customers in the discount tab. So you can have kind of active discounts. You could schedule something to say, you know, let's add a discount. Um, super sale discount code. So it could be discount code or just an automatic discount. And so it's 20% off any order, orders over a certain value, a single products on sale, certain categories. You have a lot of options here. Also, you could say, hey, the next 20 people to buy something, 
let's limit the uses to the next 10 people. Also, if it's something you don't want people to buy multiple of, you could, you could basically limit it to one per customer right here. Exclude subscription products, you know, add a start and an end date as well. Never expires, so something that you could buy at any point. Let's cancel this, go back, back again. Okay, discount, so point of sale. So this is something that's fairly new. I'm not gonna go through all this, but basically they have a, a partnership with Square. So if you're in the US, you can request the, the point of sale payment methods, scan credit cards, accept cash. And with those purchases with Square in person would basically go through and update your inventory and everything else within Squarespace. Okay, so product status, out of stock and limited inventory. You can basically, you know, add text to things, show variant drop down. Let's see. Um, you know, wait list. So, yeah, notify customers who are on a wait list for a specific product. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here to to really fairly robust e-commerce platform. You know, do you want to show related products? So you can turn this on and show section title says you might like, and then you it can be random recently added, so your new products or you know highest quantity items, so whatever you have too much of, they're gonna try to help you sell it. Uh, let's cancel that, go back. So there's a ton of stuff related to notifications, and so one is, you know, what's the email coming from? You probably wanna update this and have it be from one of your emails, also the, the from email to be your email, and then you can update the header and footer of, you know, what's gonna show up when you know, customers are receiving any emails from you. You know, abandoned cart recovery, waitlist emails, donation confirmation, there's a whole bunch of stuff that, that you can do here. And so beyond that, so the next piece that it was telling us to do from the very beginning to set up your payments. So there's kind of th two options for your online store and there's one option for selling kind of point of sale within the US. So you can connect either Stripe or PayPal to the online store, and then you can connect Square to sell in person. You can customize the, the checkout page, so a, abandoned cart recovery enablement, ask someone if they wanna join your mailing list, you know, set up the default country. There's a whole bunch of different options you can set up through here. Yep, so local requirements for invoices. Let's see, customer accounts, the next thing would be shipping. So this is really important. So how are you gonna ship if you're selling physical product? Obviously with, with services or with digital products, you don't have to worry about this, but if you are sending something physically, um, how are you gonna charge customers for that? And so you could just apply a flat rate for each item. You could, you know, within the, the items you add, you can add the weights. And so, you know, if someone buys five items, it sums up the weight for each of those and spits out a specific price. You can have it calculated via FedEx, UPS, or USPS. Taxes, and then you can export reports for the last week, month, 90 days, year to date, custom range to basically update all of your accounting. So, I mean, I think that's that's pretty much what you would need to know to set up your store. So you, within pages, you can create a store, add items, delete items, change the design, how it's gonna look. Then within the commerce piece of it, you can essentially manage your online business. So your orders, inventory, customers, discounts, payment methods, shipping, you know, essentially everything would be in this part of it. All right, how did that go? Were you able to follow along and get your store set up? Are you now ready to start selling online with Squarespace? If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave that down below in the comment section and we can respond to you there. If you want help with the very basics of Squarespace because maybe you struggled with this one, I'd encourage you to check out our basic Squarespace tutorial video that I'll link to up above right here. Also, something really powerful as far as getting your business set up online is email marketing. I'd encourage you to check out our email marketing for beginners video that I'll link to down below right here. Until next time, bye-bye.